That's what you call teamwork. Exactly. Teamwork exactly. and bona fide teamwork. That's right. You understand? And if you are interested in, in possibly having your message heard, you can um, send it to our email address is info at loadbmusic.com. Um, you can find us there. We're on Facebook. You know, Facebook backslash loadbmusic. On Twitter is loadbmusic. Um, our YouTube page is loadbmusic.com. So, or loadbmusic. So, uh, you can send your information over. We'll listen, of course. Um, and we're always looking to work with new people, uh, branch out, and meet other artists. So, um, so, you know, basically, we're at the Business Expo. I think everybody knows that. one of the sponsors for uh, the dessert challenge. Oh, the ice cream spot right there. If you guys can glimpse over there, it is very crowded over there. It is so packed over there. They have ice cream cupcakes. I don't know, peanut butter, uh, pies. Uh, they have a little bit of everything. I went over there to get a piece of something, but they said I had to go inside and see the presentation. But yeah, so we did sponsor the uh, cupcake challenge. Oh, okay. And, uh, what it is is different dessert companies come in and we have judges, um, we have some celebrity judges, we have uh, Stephanie Abrams who has like a book out, best-selling author, so okay. is one of the judges. Okay. Um, and uh, they, basically what they do is they taste the desserts, mm -hmm. we vote to see okay. who win and they'll announce the winner at the end of the challenge. And who but wins? What we the bakers? Yes, oh, the okay. company who, who uh, who got chosen from Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's kind of wow. like a tasting. Yeah, I was so wondering why it was so packed. So that's why it's so packed. It's a contest going on. That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. So you guys sponsor that. So you yeah. do sponsoring as well. Yeah, we do some sponsoring. Um, it depends on what the cause is, of course. Okay. Um, and, uh, but yeah, we, we sponsor four shows. Do so you? We're going to be doing uh, another two shows in November. And should know by now is an entrepreneur magazine and we promote all types of business talent we are promoting you we want our youth to learn how to be entrepreneurial yes. we're trying to um, take the art of music and dancing and filming and take our kids to the next level a positive level um, Our artists, as they say, you know, you have a starving artist. Yes, you know, yes. We teach them to expand their mind and not necessarily stick to just, just one thing. Just being an artist, and that's right. the problem. Because me, I'm, I, I started out as an artist, and then now I own my own music company, Global Music Entertainment, right. and I created that music entertainment group basically to help struggling independent artists. Um, right now, our artists are being robbed every day. Every day, they're being charged three hundred dollars put on stage when they should be being paid to be put on stage. You understand? And Global Music is out here to make a change on that. We're not hating on the people that are charging money, but our artists need money to copyright, they need money to press CDs. I mean, you're taking that away from them. You know, it takes a lot of money, you're taking it away from them at the same time. So, what I would like to know is, what does it take for you to sponsor a independent company with artists? Yes. Yeah. Some our meetings mm -hmm. to start. Okay. No. <laughs> um, well, anyone can just reach out to us, and we're willing to speak with everyone mm -hmm. and find out what your ultimate goal is. Because mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, we'll sponsor something that has a positive outcome. Yes. Or, or, or um, I should say, promotes a positive outcome. Yes. Um, you know, it's not every day you need someone that says, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a struggling artist, so I have a company, and I want to do this and that, but they're in it just strictly for the money. Okay, I understand okay. everyone has to eat, yes, and they have yes, bills to pay, yes. but it's bigger than that, because yes. at the end of the day, if you have a positive uh, goal in your mind, and in, uh, teaching, especially like the youth, or setting yourself up with a company that's going to grow as opposed to quick and fast money, you're, you're more liable to have a successful career in what you want to do as opposed to just the quick dollar. Uh -huh. you know I mean? Yes, because I, 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 I can
and take a million dollars and spend it in two days. Yes. But if, if I can teach someone to take a million dollars and expand and take that million dollars and make it work for you, mm -hmm. now you have five. Then yes. with that five, now you have ten. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. And it's the same thing. A lot of people say, oh, they hate on Jay-Z, for example. Yes. He took a little bit of money that he had. And turned it into a lot. And turned it into a lot. And that's Being what the an key thing. Yes. Business, and that's the key thing. Music, so. It's okay to wear many hats. Have you ever heard that saying, um, Masters of, uh, what's that, Masters of, uh, what's that? Master, Master. Jack of all trades, Master of none. Right. Jack of all trades, yeah. Master of none. Right. Do you believe right. that? Yeah. I do. I do. You, you believe that? I do believe in that. I, I know that, uh, I believe if you're talented in more than one thing, mm -hmm. you're able to spread, you know, and, and then, yes. Granted, you have to be good at it. You know, decent at yes. what you do. You have to work your craft. But, you know, it's like I tell my singers on the label, great to do original music. Yes. However, we do the cover music to help pay the bills. Okay. It's performing, yes. it's music, it's doing the cover. Yes. It's yes. It's good All right. You know, so, and so yeah. thank you so much, Judy, for you. sitting here with us and letting us interview you. Uh, please tell us real quick, where can we check you out and how can artists contact you? Yes. Once again, uh, we have two companies, our major our entertainment company is CrossingMidnightNT.com and our label is LoadBeatMusic.com. Shout outs to D Blacks doing his thing with the camera and we'll be right back with our next interview. Suki Soup, Real Talk After Dark Radio, standing in for Upside Today Magazine. Peace. Right, CNG System LLC, that's who we're here with. This is Suki Soup once again. For Upsize Today magazine, and we have the Shasha Dash. You are the co founder of CNG System LLC. So, basically, tell us what, what's that system? What is it about? What's it about? So, we're the new ATMs. The new ATMs, okay. So, so break it down. So, to break it down, when you're out there and you need money, you go find the ATM and you withdraw cash. Yes. You provide a similar type of service, but when your phone's running low. So oh. when you're at the bar, and you're talking to someone, talking to that pretty girl, uh -huh. yourself maybe, uh -huh. and you need, you need to get your number, well, if your phone's dead, you can do that. No. So you can plug your phone into our station, and then you can recharge your phone for it. Oh, so you guys, okay, so do you have uh, the product, or where, where do we, where's the station at? That's right, so we do our numbers at the we're in locations like bars. Oh, okay. We also do trade shows. Oh, so, so basically you take the charger to your phone and plug it into the machine and it allows you to put money into your phone. Well, so it's a little different. Okay. So if your phone's on low, we have the cords in the machine already built. And you put in the, you put in the payment or you swipe your credit card and then that cord, you plug your phone into, starts to work and it's, now it starts to power your phone. Oh. So we have prices that range depending on the partnerships that we create with the venues. Oh, okay, okay. So sometimes we set it at free if the venue wants to create that service mm -hmm. for their customers. Oh, okay. But we typically price it at anywhere between $2 to $5. Wow, nice, nice. Wow, and where, who came up with the idea? How did y'all manage to... Yeah, so we call it the cell phone charging station. Okay, all right. So that's what they mean. 
ATM. Okay, so how long you guys, you guys just invented this or it's been going on for a while? No, the company's been around for about a year now. Okay, right. great.
Today magazine. Um, interview. And I have Reverend Carmen here. She has some interesting news to tell us. And I want you to put a song about your LGBT or LGBT. Oh, 
which is one of the most <laughs> chapter of New York that we have. Mm. Um, we partnered with the New American Caribbean Chamber of Commerce in Brooklyn, mm. we're located at 26 Cross Street. Uh, we opened a Brooklyn chapter, you know, a LGBT chapter there. Mm. We have a chapter in the Bronx. We're opening a chapter here in Manhattan okay. where we sit at. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's our very own members. Okay. Uh, we're opening it because it's about, it's your chamber. Yes. You know, I'm honored to represent it. I do not get paid for what I do. Mm -hmm. So there's no hidden gender. Okay. Never is. We're very straight open. This is how we want to, you know, want, you know, go. We have a full ethnic uh, confidentiality and we keep it in the family. There's a lot of organization that, you know, they go very unprofessional, bashing because it doesn't, you know, if somebody has a hidden agenda, not with us. Yes. You know, we'll take care of it right now and we, we're here to help each other. Okay. No, no game. We don't have time for that. All right. I'm the same person. I don't have time. Yes. You know, I'm taking my illness and to help other people. Mm -hmm. At least I know I can do certain things that I can yes. do. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to take my life and do good. That's right. And this is and what we're doing. And that's what going. Doing. It's me so not thinking helping. about my illness. So, yes. you know, I, it's wonderful when you're helping me. Yes. And guess what? And your illness just goes out the door. You don't even think Nobody of it as you know, I got my pain, but I don't, I don't let my illness dictate who I am. Yes. Yes. I don't let it control me because yes. I got hit. I do good. Yes. But inside, I have some fiber. Wow. I got spasm, not one, but two feet. A wow. thyroid is on two feet. Wow. Uh, 300 of this in my lower back. 300 of this in my neck and I'm Wow. That means God is pushing you. Absolutely. You for your calling. Absolutely. And whatever it is that you're called to, you have to work it. You know you're calling your own. You know you're crazy. I got so much joy when I met you. We had that laugh. Wow. Yes. When you have a joy in your heart, no matter what you go through. Yes. You know, it's just smiling. Yeah. Nobody knows. Some people that are, you know, my friend was talking to, they said, they, they said that just because you smile, they think that you soft or there's something that they could take, get over it's on you. It's a gift. You got a gift. And I, want, I love this gift and I thank God for it. You have a beautiful spirit. Thank you. One minute left. And, 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 and I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity. Yes. Uh, it's awesome. It's and awesome. where can I, you get a high meaning so many people. Mm -hmm. You just get enough to be so Yes. I yes. love people. Do you help, um, like, people at risk? A block away from here, we have uh, the, uh, members of us, the MCC New York, who are a shelter for home, homeless LGBT kids. Mm -hmm. In fact, we do a Thanksgiving when we serve our sponsors, we food, and okay. we serve them, okay. and also as a holiday. Alright, so I want you to email me, I'm going to contact you. Yes, yes. 15 seconds. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you, God bless this you. This is Reverend, Reverend Carmen of the LGBT um, US Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. Thank and you nobody so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's up? This is Suki Suki. Yes, we are at the Business Expo with the Upsides Today magazine. We have Miss Pamela Brown from PB Entertainment in the house. Fifteen Dynasty. How you doing? Great, great, great. Okay, so what brings you to the expo today? Oh, of course, um, networking. Networking. I do a lot of that. So did you enjoy yourself today? Oh, the most definitely. I understand you manage artists. Yes, Can you tell me a little bit about 15 Dynasty and the company that you're working with? Okay, well, um, I'm a music manager, as you know. Um, I manage um, groups, I manage solo artists. Um, 15 Dynasty, we are an uh, entertainment management group. And we um, manage um, artists from all over the world. Models, etc. So, um, how long have you been managing artists? I've been managing artists for over three years, legally two years. Oh, okay. So, who's your, one of your top artists that you have right now? The top artist I have right now that I'm working with, per se, is Japan Nation. And you. Oh, hi. <laughs> Suki Suki, yes. How you doing? And the Down South Boys from Alabama. Okay, so, um, what is, um, what is your main goal for your artists? Making sure they reach to the top. Reach to the top. Okay. okay. So, um, I'm looking for. are you looking to manage any more artists in the future? Are you looking to pick up artists now? How yes. can they contact you? Um, they can, um, hit me up on Facebook. Pamela Brown. You can find me. I have the, um, Stress on. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> people always have a hard time on Twitter. So I'm looking up on Twitter. It's PBE 518. Um, Instagram, PB Music Management. Um, my email address is LAYPAM3 at gmail.com. So, Ms. Penn, what made you want to go into management? Um, when did you decide that it was 
something in my mind. Why do you choose the magic art? I love music. Oh, okay. I always loved music since I was a child. Um, what induced me was when they was coming to me. <laughs> I go to certain events asking me when I was a music fan. And, you know, at the time, you know, I wasn't, and I wasn't really interested at the time. But when I started, you know, researching and see what it does, I, I really enjoyed what I did. Oh, okay, okay. I really enjoyed what I did. I wanted to see the smile from my eyes. Well, she makes me smile. Um, she does a lot for me. I like to call her mama. You know, Mama Pam, because she's strict and she don't play no games. She's on her job, and that's why I chose to let her be my manager. She stay on her job. And I'm, I'm really glad I met you, PB, because I actually met you at the Rock Out Celebrity that was in March. And we both had a hard time getting to this event and wound up meeting each other there on strange circumstances. You know, God's will. Yes. So sometimes it's not a mistake to meet somebody, it's a reason. And sometimes people are not in your life for just a season. They ain't there for a reason. And that's how we do it here at Real Talk After Dark Radio. And once again, this is Super Super with Real Talk After Dark Radio, stepping in for Upsize Today Magazine. And we'll see you guys later. Peace. What's up, this is Suki Sue with Upside Today Magazine. We're here with Take Two at the Business Expo. Take Two is going to basically give us an insight on what they were doing here today. They also part of the youth development team with Upside Two. You ladies was here today. I came, I came down the escalator and I seen like two people that look just alike but different styles. Yeah. So what you ladies were doing?
this is me, Dr. B. I'm back here again, man. I'm standing up here with my main man, Antonio Marks. This guy here is my financial director based out of 40 Wall. He writes and underwrites all our projects for our community programs, our endeavor, and our, and our commercials. Um, right now, and share some things with your company's also doing as, um, as an investor. Besides what you're doing with us, what are you doing also? Okay, well, primarily my company, I'm an investor venture capitalist. I've just gone private equity. So we can also do personal funding based on the client and what they have as an asset. We can do corporate funding. Uh, we can buy over companies. Uh, it could be a, a wide array of things that my company does. It's all in-house money, all private. Uh, once the client comes in, it's scenario, case by case, whether it be business or personal. It could be an idea that you want to start up. Right. So VCs will invest in startups or young companies. Private equity will go into a company that you might own. It might be 10, 20 years. You might have contracts. And you might want somebody to either come in and do a cash injection mm -hmm. or buy the company and we'll restructure it ourselves. So that's a little bit of what we do, what we offer, right. what can be done. And if we don't have the resource in-house, I have many tax rulings of other gentlemen that do what I do where I can get loads of money to make it happen. In, in other words, you know, we got more connections than AT&T got extensions. So exactly. you know how we do. So whether we uptown, downtown, or in the boogie down, you know how it's going down, man. Upsize the day, baby. Peace. Hey guys, man, I'm pumped up and excited to be here. You know who it is. It's me, it's your boy DOC, and I'm here at the 2013 um, Expo. And I just really established a connection with one of my old partners, um, Gabriel from Dynamics Links. How you doing, Gabe? Very good, thank you. Thank you. Thank We're glad to have you here. Gabe, tell us some of the terrific things that you're doing right now in your company. Well, one of the main things that I'm focusing on personally is something called Social Media for Good. Socialmediaforgood.org is an organization that helps other nonprofit organizations succeed on the internet. We already know that social media, internet marketing, the web is the place where everything is happening. Absolutely. And how do nonprofit organizations leverage this power? They come see me. <laughs> <laughs> and when they ain't seeing him, they come and see me, Dr. B, because you know how it is. When you need a checkup from the neck up. <laughs> Okay, where's the best place to be? It's here, Dr. B and Mr. G. Hey guys, um, log on to our website, take us a visit, see some of the great things that we got going on. If you guys really do need a friend, you guys need some consulting, a real strategic partner, there's no better place. You can connect with me on Twitter at The Links Group, just the way it sounds. The Links Group, L-I-N-X. Peace. Peace. Hey guys, you know who it is, it's me, it's your boy D.O.C. And I'm back here today at the 2013 Expo, and I'm standing here with my man Dukes from Empire Avenue. How you doing, buddy? Pleasure to be here. Man, I'm pumped up and excited, man. I'm hearing a lot of good things going on for me. One of my strategic partners, Gabriel from Dynamic Links, he put us together, and, and he told me some big things that you're doing. Tell us some of the stuff that's going on here. All right, so Empire Avenue. Basically, we're a virtual currency platform where the currency that you earn and play with is connected to your social influence, your social online presence. So the more reach you have, the more people who listen to you on Facebook, on Twitter, mm. on Instagram, you get more wealthy, right? And then from a business perspective, other people, businesses, Nokia uses us, and a lot of people use us, they come along and they say, you know what, I want to reach you. I want to reach you, man. Mm -hmm. And I want you to share the kind of things we're doing. Yeah, I got this phone call, Lumi, I don't know what it is, but I need to get it promoted out there. Right. I'm going to give you some more currency to do that. Mm -hmm. You turn around and go, thanks. I I like Lumia. I'm going to promote it to my network of like 5,000 people. So then we okay, sure. You get the currency. Now you have the currency. And you're sitting there going, what do I do with this currency? Mm -hmm. And you're saying, okay, I, you know what? I have some other blogs and stuff that I want to promote. Great. I'll use that currency for that and give it out again. Or I can play a game. You have a, a game on there that's a lot of fun. Watch it. Bit addictive. Bit addictive. Mm -hmm. But a third way. Now this is going to be the interesting thing that's going to happen in the next few weeks. You're going to be able to take that currency, the currencies you earn for doing all this stuff, and you're going to be able to turn this around and use it for, I'm allowed to say, digital entertainment. Nice. All right. Nice. Now you're talking, right? Now you're coming on. You're going, hey, you know what? Now I, I want to promote Nokia. Yeah, if I'm feeling good, mm -hmm. I get the currency. I can use it for stuff. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. That's it's real a lot good. Of fun. Dude, this sounds like you guys really have a ton of stuff going on. Now, I know we're trying to keep it under the wraps for a little bit. A little bit. Just suppressing the excitement. Just suppressing. Controlling the explosion. Oh, yeah. So when we're ready to ignite it, it goes kaboom. Oh, man. Go
Is that right? Boom, kaboom, kaboom. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm really, I'm really pumped up and excited. Once again, man, this is Dr. B. I'm here with Duke from Empire Avenue. Guys, you log on. You come see what we're doing. I tell you, you got to network in order to increase your net worth. And there's no better way to do it than upside today and Empire Avenue. Have a great day. God bless. Hey guys, good afternoon. You know who it is. It's me. It's your boy DOC from Upside Today Magazine. And I'm sitting here with my counterpart, my um, CFO and editor of Upside Magazine, my love of my life, Leticia Dennis. Say hello, honey. Hello, everyone. We're here at the Business Expo at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. And today was a phenomenal day. We had the opportunity of meeting with some great people, great companies. And um, it was just a pleasure to interact and network Network. That's right. So, um, just want to give an update um, to our fan base, just let them know that the next event you cannot miss. If you are a, a serious business owner or entrepreneur and you want to get your uh, presence, whether it's online or in person, out there, you have to come to an event like the Business Expo. So, I'll, I'll put it over to uh, my counterpart, Anthony Young. And guys, so just like Nat just said, man, we are so proud this year to be the sponsor of the 2013 Business Expo.